What's up YouTubers, Johnny DIY here. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to fix and prevent roof leaks. If you guys are new to my channel, do me a favor, click the subscribe and the notification bell so you can get all my new videos. Alright, let's get to it. Okay, so this is the stuff we're going to be using to patch and prevent any roof leaks we have. This is made by Henry. It is 208R. It's a rubberized roofing patch or roofing cement. You may have a different brand, but this is the stuff I use. It comes in either a gallon or you can get it in caulking tubes as well for smaller jobs. You may as well get the gallon size if you have a full size house and you can use this for a few years. Okay, so we're going to go all the way around the roof and we're going to check all the flashing and the shingles for any leaks. Here's some skylight flashing right here that we can just, we just spread it on with a putty knife. We'll just spread it over any nail holes that are exposed. Now we can come back and paint this as well. After about a day or so, you're going to want to let it dry. Any nail pops, any popped nails that are coming out of the flashing. Now you can use this on asphalt shingles. You can use this on metal tin roof. You can use this on roll roofing. You could even use this on tile. Probably wouldn't look the best on tile though. Use it on these whirly bird flashings. You can use it around your vent pipes right here. There's a seal right here that dries out and will start to leak. Those are just your standard vent pipes. But you want to do this, you want to check at least every year before the rainy season is best. Don't wait. Don't wait until you have a leak. You can do it around chimney pipes, flashing around chimneys, any exposed nails like this. Try and tool it so that it's running down so the rain will go down with it at an angle. See all these nails are popping out. You can see the cracks around the nail heads. See it's all cracked around it. That's how you know. It needs a little more on there this year. Chimney exhaust pipes like this for if you have a wood stove. Just regular vent stacks like this. Now you can see, look at that, that's all cracked around this vent stack right here, that seal. So we're just going to take a little bit, put it in those cracks. Like I said, we'll come back and paint these in a day or so after it dries. That way it looks a little nicer, you won't be able to see it. Try and get it as neat as you can. Check around your AC and heating too. Looks like these cable lines chafed some of the shingles some. If you look, there's some grooves. We can go ahead and fill these. So this is, you know, it works on any sort of flashing and vents. Shingles, any kind. And what's great about this is you can apply it wet if you need to. Say you have a leak, you can go right up there in the rain and put this on and it'll seal it. I've done it. Okay, so I went ahead and got a tube of that caulking version just for you guys to show you. Now this caulking tube size is good because it should be just enough, one or two of them, to do your entire roof. I usually check every year, but let's go ahead and do this seam right here on the skylight with the tube. Alright guys, and that is how to fix and prevent roof leaks. Hopefully you found this video helpful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Well, subscribe and click the notification bell so you can get all my new videos. Thanks for watching Johnny DIY. Keep on doing it yourself, guys. Take care.